Okay, well that looks like we're gonna shoot the shit out of him. <laughs> like the harmonica ruins everything. It's like it's not even scary or suspenseful like anymore. It's like around here somewhere. Dude, I'm dying. Where am I supposed to go? Come on. There we go. Give me that heart. Oh, you can jump over this shit. Get the light. Heart. Uh, where did you go? Heart. Ammo. Can't pick up the ammo. At least some of you are the heart. Give me the heart, please. Come in here. Come on, the heart. That's always good. I'm dying. I'm just guessing. I don't know where to go. Heart. I can sort of hear the dope, but it's kind of hard to tell where you might. Here somewhere. It's back here. I'm dying. Drink. Where are you? He's right here. I swear. Well, there you are. No, I didn't want to do that. Whatever. There we go. What the? This guy's insane. The bugs. Hell monkey. I think he's scared of you. He should be, Jay. He should be. He's around here. There you are. That's easy. Oh, you missed. Oh, yeah. Is there another barrel around here? Is that, is that one? This was. Oh, oh. Just over here. There's another barrel. I shoot your face. Well, that didn't count. Adios, Jorge, George. Human form? Is there a monster form? What was that? He's floating. Uh. So a giant hand just swiped him up. I don't get it. But I'll, I'll take it. Ooh, a blue gem. What does that mean? 
Nice rock. Shove it into my face, G. Trust me, it doesn't mean we're so, engaged or anything. Shove it into might his be face. A tight fit, but okay. Okay, um, enough dick jokes. We don't get it. Okay, what's with that face in the background? What was that? Blue gems. New. Okay. What's a blue gem? So, what exactly did that do? Blue gems let me transform into new tools of war, new gears of me. In other what words, a new weapon. Magnifical. You know, so I bet all the VIPs are walking around with blue gems. So, VIP people, those guys have the gems that I can get better weapons with? That's always good. Okay, so what's this? The mono cushion. What the fuck? I had this the entire time? What is this? I didn't even know that. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, I guess I'm going in here. Smash! Where to now? I mean, we've been to a like a sewer, bloody area. We went to a cannibal carnival. Now where are we going? Freaking zombie brothel? Like, what's next? I can only imagine. Soul booster. These humans. Oh wait, oh, what a wonderful world! Wow, that doesn't tell me anything. Fill some of your soul meter, allowing extended exposure to darkness without physical damage. I'd like to have that. This game's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. I'm assuming the map extends because I'm almost at the end of this thing. We're only in Act Two, Three. Do you know, know I had I the shotgun in the dumpster, right? What? You what? said you met her at the supermarket. I did. It was the bin out behind the dime a dozen. The fuck? And dude? you just. Picked her up out of the rubbish and brought her home. Why no? Sometimes I think I hardly know you. I love her so much I found her in a dumpster. Okay, so what is this light? What was that? I don't know. What the but we've got company. Hey, I think up? lots of. Let me try this. Pull up a chair. I would be happy to be Shotgun. Oh, that's really slow. Oh my god. Hey, come on. Over here. Oh. You got a shotgun. Second try at the teeth gun, too. It's a teeth. Shoot the teeth at him. It, it, it hits you. Who never had his fill. It was a cold and snowy eve. Certainly no night for a man without a home to be walking these grey and endless streets. Inside the pizza parlor, Thor Dreed spun a lively tune on his harmonica. The oh, local that one children you? giggled and pointed excitedly at the harmonica man as their parents glowed with approval. Huh? His reward what? would be all the pizza he could eat, six pies at least, what the and a fuck, warm dude? bed in one of these folks' homes. For doing he a harmonica at a pizzeria? The hell. But when he tucked in for the night, George had not had his fill. How? Six pizzas? As the years and calories stacked up, <laughs> most calories. of them would have got older and fatter. Yet for all he consumed, George only got thinner as he washed from town to town. Tapeworm! Tonight, he plied his trade with some grannies and orderlies in a nursing home. His harmonica filled the room with joy. 
After devouring three helpings of pork chops and mashed potatoes, he eyed the plate of the old woman next to him. This guy's an asshole. She dribbled down his chin. Ew. Go ahead, Georgie, she said. Get You're fatter. such a good boy, you shouldn't have to starve. Didn't you just see him eat three things of pork chops? But George had not had his fill. Does he eat her? Early the next morning, he was already on the freeway with his thumb in the air. Where are you headed? Said the man in the truck. Nowhere, said George. Anywhere. It was a new decade, and tonight George played to an all but empty bar in the city. He had lost a lot of weight. Oh, no. Afterwards, the only woman in the joint took the stool next to him and asked him his name. The bartender leaned over the counter. You don't know this guy, Mary. George is famous, being all over the tri-state area. With a wink, he added, man's insatiable. Where's this going? And that night, George proved it as he buried his face in Mary's beaver. What the Holy fuck? woodland creatures! And a boy, George! And a boy, George! Play that harmonica, she purred. But even after five trips to heaven and back, he had not had his fill. Oh my the god. The morning after was an awkward affair as they stared at each other over coffee. One wanted to feel more, the other just wanted to feel. Uh. In his final days, George was all skin and bones. I can relate, except for the skin part. His last meal had been a mistake. It was on a sidewalk one night in a small suburban town that he came across the boy. Hungrily, and with an agonized grimace, he opened his mouth to beg for help. Out came a cacophony of wheezes and toots, but the boy understood. Wait, Wait eat you mean Jorge ate his harmonica? Once he was alone, George sure Reed looked no... at the candy bar he held in one hand and began to cry. <laughs> I'm pretty confident metal has no nutritional value. They, they found George's half-eaten body in a market next town over. Ugh. In one hand, he held a knife. In the other, he a ate fork. himself. What Chunks the fuck? of flesh had been torn from his chest and his arms. Blood framed an eerie smile. The wind that morning blew fierce, and as it whistled through the hole he'd carved out of his own neck, the harmonica man played his last song in this world. There were gawkers, and many knew him. They shared stories of how he had filled them with hope, filled them with life. They, at least, had had their fill. <clears throat> Especially Mary. Uh, the end. What just happened? So he ended up eating himself because he was so hungry? That's not how it works. He must have had some kind of a brain problem. 